First step, everybody, what are we trying to look for here in this question? Joshua, it's going to be Thursday. So the latest Thursday. I have to respond to everybody who's been texting me first. Once I catch up with that, then I'll work on advancing everything. Cool. We're looking for the cost of one hat. So again, remember, everybody, keep in mind, this is a slightly more advanced question, but it's still very doable. We want the cost of one hat. Okay. Everybody, is it okay with you if I say that, um, you know, we're looking for the cost of one hat? So we'll say one hat costs, and then we'll just put a dollar amount and a, is that okay with y'all? That's what we're looking for, right? One hat costs blank dollars. Cool, sounds good. So with that, um, does anybody here notice anything in common that this problem has with the other questions? Because in the other questions we saw a bigger number and a smaller number, smaller number and a bigger number, so two numbers, right? Here, we're looking for the cost of one hat. Is there a cost of something else that we don't know? Like, are they giving us two things that we don't know? Right, sunglasses. And in the chat box here, let's go ahead and keep it focused here. So with that, notice we're looking for the cost of a hat. And in the question itself, in the problem, we're talking about the cost of a pair of sunglasses as well. And before we continue, one of the main frustrations that so many people have with the ASVAB is not knowing what to study and how to study to begin with. So if you're one of those people that can do a good job if everything's lined up for you, then go ahead and join our program. We have all the classes, all the recordings, all the courses with practice questions, with videos, and you can text me all the way up until you pass. So that's how it works. It's very simple, straightforward, and it gets you to the score and the job you want. Check out the link in the description of this video to learn more and sign up now. Everyone, do they tell us what the cost of one pair of sunglasses is? No, they don't tell us. So pay attention here. We have the cost of a pair of sunglasses, which they don't tell us. Then we also have the cost of a hat. They don't tell us that either. But apparently, it's part of the problem. When you have things like that, when you have two things that you don't know in a question, this is where you could potentially set up two equations, a system of equations. Again, all a system is, I'm not trying to scare you, all a system is, is basically saying two equations that talk about the same things. Watch what's going to happen here. Watch what's going to happen. Let's check out this first sentence here. Jason bought five pairs of sunglasses and nine hats for $257. Everyone, let's go ahead and say, let's pretend that X is the cost of one pair of sunglasses. And then let's say that Y is the cost of one hat. So far, before I even continue, <laughs> no worries, Jocelyn, I'm going to show you why this is not a proportion question. So. Everyone, is it okay with you if I, if I do that? X will say that that's the cost of one pair of sunglasses. Y, cost of one hat. Is that okay with you? Damien, I'll answer that in a second. Is that okay with us? Okay. So, with that, here's what we're gonna do. Read that first sentence. And think about this in, in real terms, in the real world. The first sentence in blue, it says, we bought five pairs of sunglasses. Everyone, if we're, if we're talking about the cost of that, if one pair of sunglasses is whatever, if we're buying five of them, will we not just do five times the cost of sunglasses? Is that fair? So yeah, if we're saying, hey, pair of sunglasses is X dollars. Five pairs of sunglasses would be five X. Is that true? Yeah, so let's write that down. Let's write that down right here. Five pairs 
of sunglasses. That's going to be 5x. When we say 9 hats, well, that's going to be 9y because that would be 9 hats. And then what did it say, everybody? How much did we buy all that for? How much did we buy all of that for? Right, 257. So not five pairs of sunglasses plus nine hats, that's gonna be 257. So that would be five X plus nine Y equals 257. Does that make sense in English? Five X plus nine Y equals 257. Five pairs of sunglasses plus nine hats, that's $257. Does that make sense? Cool. So if that first part made a little bit of sense, this second part should make an equal, if not more, amount of sense. Watch this. Let's take a look at this next part here. In green, Joseph bought 10 pairs of sunglasses, seven hats for $261. Is it fair if I said, okay, 10 pairs of sunglasses, that would be 10x, seven hats, that would be seven Y, and that total cost was 261, so I'll write equals 261. Is that fair? Does that make sense for that green sentence? Yeah, exactly, we're using X for the pair of sunglasses because we don't know what the cost of one pair is. So we'll just say X represents the cost of one pair of sunglasses, and y would be the cost of one hat. And that's what's gonna allow us to make these equations, to turn that English into math. Now, we're here, we have these two equations, 5x plus uh, 9y equals 257, and then we have 10x plus y equals 261. We're looking at this and we're saying, okay, I know that these equations make sense. Is anybody here confused on how to solve them? Is anybody here confused on how to solve them? Yeah, and it's fair to be confused, totally fair. This is what makes this a slightly more advanced question. Number one, we have actual context, not two numbers add up to this. Difference is that, no, now we're saying, hey, we're buying this item and this item for this much, this item and that item for that much. So we have to do a little more work there. Number two, okay, it's not perfectly lined up for us. It's not perfectly lined up in terms of, hey, just add them or subtract them when you're done. It's not gonna cancel anything out. Nothing is the same. So here's what we can do. This is gonna make things a lot easier if you look at it this way. So allow me to just take this. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And I'm gonna focus I'm going to focus on this first equation, everybody. Everybody, is it true that instead of having five, is it true that if we had 10, we could actually cancel these out? If this was a 10, could we cancel these out? If that was a 10, could we then cancel these out? Yeah, if that was a 10, but that's not a 10. That's a five. What do we do? Here's what we can do. Watch this. This is totally legal. Everybody, is it true that whatever you do to one side, you do to the other? Is that true? Yeah. Whatever you do to one side, you can, you should do to the other. As long as you follow that rule, you're fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the entire side here by two. Multiply the entire side here by two. So I'm basically multiplying the entire thing by two, the entire equation. Watch what's going to happen, everybody. What's, uh, what's two times five going to be? Yeah, we, we wanted that 10. Okay. Okay. Everybody, what's a 2 times 9 going to be? 2 times 9y, that's going to be 18y. Okay. And then pop quiz, what's 257 times 2? Let's do the math. It's going to be 514, but I'll do the math with you. I got y'all. 257 times 2. That'll be 7 times 2 is 14. 5 times 2 is 10, carry the 1 is 11. 2 times 2 is 4, carry the 1 is 5. So we have 500, 
and 14. Everyone, could we subtract these now? Could we? Yeah, we absolutely can. We absolutely can. And we will. We will because, watch this. I'll use, I'll use red. If I subtract these, and again, I'm only focusing on these two right here. I can subtract these now because when I do, everybody, what's 10x minus 10x? What's going to happen there? What happens? Exactly, Jocelyn. Zero. It cancels out. So that x is gone. All right, everybody. What's 18y minus 7y? What's that going to be? 18y minus 7y. That's going to be 11y. Thank you. And then what's 514 minus 261? What's that going to be? Some of us are throwing out 253. Let's make sure that we got that right. Let's just go ahead and double check here. 4 minus 1, that's going to be 3. 1 minus 6 can't do that, so we'll borrow. 11 minus 6, that's going to be 5. 4 minus 2, that'll be 2. So yeah, that'll be 253. Okay, sounds good. No worries if you forgot that we're subtracting. We're there. So now we have 11y equals 253. Let's just take a look at what happened. We got rid of the x. We eliminated the x. And when we eliminated the x, we made it so much more solvable. Because now all we have to do is divide both sides by 11. That's all we have to do now. Yeah, sure, you might say, Coach, how do you divide that big number by 11? That's not the question. The question is, do you notice that this is much easier to be solved now because we only have one letter? Do you understand that? This is easier to solve because we only have one letter, not two. Cool, so now that we're here, remember my math party people, acing the ASVAB is not just about watching me do it. It's better that you practice as well. It's about watching, practicing, and mastering the material. And the best way to do that is to start off with my free practice test because it comes with video solutions so you can try it out yourself see all the mistakes that you've made and then keep raising your score with those video solutions organizing yourself so you can lower that test anxiety and raise your score no excuses it's completely free so go ahead and click the link there or in the description that way you can get started raise your score and do everything you need to do let's ace the ASVAD but let's get back to the problem after you're done signing up now we need to divide both sides by 11 so we have 11y equals 253 when we divide both sides by 11 We can do long division if you'd like to. Right over there. 11 goes into 25 two times. And then you have 33. Everybody, 11 goes into 33 how many times? Three times. So we end up getting y equals 23. Everybody, what does y represent again? What does y represent again? What do we say y represents again? What did we say? I'll show you the whole thing here. What did we say Y represents? Ah, the cost of a hat. Okay, cool. Right here. Y is the cost of one hat. We found that Y equals 23. Oh, because of that, are we done? Do we have our final answer? Yeah, we are done. We are absolutely done. The answer here is D, $23 for one hat. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.